Demişim, lütfen. And we are in Europe.
Right now we connected the uh, first uh, connection, fishing connect, fishing line connection we said. Uh, now to the curtain line and tag line ropes. So I'm gonna pull over the curtain line tag line and with those later we will be able to pull the slack line. So it starts from some small tiny connection and gets step by step bigger to bigger till the slack line is between the two towers or the bridge. So and we have to work now. There is no action if there is no slack line in the air. So I have to get it up with the team. Oh, that was actually a smooth walk. Um, in terms of weather, we're so lucky. Uh, cars, they kept driving, slowing down a little bit. So I was also slowing down myself just to rest meanwhile. And it's so much noise. I did not expect. It's like for one hour almost. The line is walked. I walked from Asia to Europe successfully. And uh, that's unique. I mean, it always feels great to reach the end of the line, especially with distance one kilometer and 74 meters. And uh, it's uh, relieving. Like, really, it's a huge relief to walk the line because so much work has been done with the team to set it up safely here and walk safely over because it's a long journey. The idea of the project is a continental pass. It means that walking from Asia to Europe. The slack line is stretched uh, above the bridge, from one side of the bridge to the other side. It means it goes above the cars. Cars are distractive while walking. There are non-stop flow of cars passing by. It's so much noise because they're making a siren while I'm walking on it. And also I could hear the helicopters, the planes flying around because it's a city environment. In city environment, it's always harder to walk slack lines than somewhere in the nature. While walking, I was concentrating just look straight and focus on the step. But at the same time, I had moments where I needed to rest my arms, like because they were getting cramped. And during that time, I was able to watch also the old city and the nice view of the city of Istanbul. To set up such a complicated slackline in the city environment here in Istanbul, I need a rigging team. We have a local slackliners helping us, and I'm also involved in every little detail of the rigging plan since the beginning. I'm doing slackline, first of all, to challenge myself to walk long lines, short lines, to do tricks. But at the same time, it's so entertaining. It's not just a sportive action. It's also entertaining and motivating uh, to do and also to watch. Because while doing it, I focus on each step, but my goal is to reach the end. And it's the same in everyday life, actually trying to do something to accomplish, but doing it step by step until reaching the end, the goal at the same time motivating the other people and uh, being entertained and it's fun always at the end of the day <laughs>